In this video, we're going to be going over dreams. What do they mean? There will be a few dreams and their meanings. Some dreams, do they mean anything at all? I'll let you know how to determine those coming up. Before I get into those dreams, first off, I need to tell you. A lot of times when you go to bed and you're dreaming and you have crazy chaotic dreams, if you remember them dreams, you can wake up and notice if you think about it, some of those dreams were just the last thing you watched on TV mixed in with a very possibly hectic day. And if you can pick out those individual things from your week or your day before, maybe a few things you talked about with someone, something you watched on TV, then that is all that is. It's just a replay coming back of what has been on your mind all day or all week. Best way to eliminate that is eliminate the TV, eliminate some of that technology and take a few minutes, 15 to 30 minutes in the evening just to sit by yourself in peace. Good thing to do would be meditate, do some gratitude and some affirmations. That is perfect for your subconscious when you sleep. And it will help calm everything down. So the dreams you do have will have one meaning or another, whether it's psychological or a little more intuitive, because there are people out there that do have gifts. God can talk to you. The universe can talk to you. It's all up to your beliefs. But before we get into the dreams and the psychological meanings behind them. How many times do you ever forget your dream? You wake up, poof, it's gone. Quick idea. Get you a dream journal. Set it beside your bed. When you wake up and that dream is right there, try not to move too much and write that dream down. I do it without ever opening my eyes. Sometimes it's dark in the middle of the night and I would just write. And you will find that some of those dreams will be on repeat, but you will be able to remember them better and better by trying to stay calm, stay as close as you can to where you were when you woke up and just write. Some people will grab their phone and record. Funny note, I tried that one night, did not understand anything I said when I got up the next day. So, when it comes to me, I need to write. But either way can work for you. Give it a try. And if you notice, some of those dreams will be things that happen during the day. Eh, you know there's nothing going on. They could be, oh, I remember watching that movie. I guess I replayed it in my dreams. Or it could be, wow. Something... I, I would like to know what's what's happening with this reoccurring dream. Sometimes those reoccurring dreams, yes, they could have a psychological answer. Some of those dreams, depending on what they are, how vivid they are, mean a lot more. So how many of you have had that infamous dream where your partner cheated on you and you woke up and they had no idea why you were so livid with them the next morning. But it's a dream. Remember, it's hard not to be angry because they are vivid. And it does, it's very emotional. But know this, that dream is usually due to a past trauma of an infidelity that has happened to you before. Or maybe you were abandoned by someone really important to you that you loved this trauma is not healed this is coming up because there is still a fear there that your partner may do the same thing cheat on you abandon you and many reasons why this comes up is because there's something there that's taking away the attention from you your partner could be spending time too much time with family members friends at work these days with technology 
It could even be technology. Either way, they're pulling attention away from you. And the fix to this is you and your partner need to prioritize things in your life to be able to spend more time together. In a nutshell, it points to neglect. It points to fear of abandonment and low self-esteem, as well as lack of trust. Sometimes it points to actually cheating. And the second type of cheating dream is when you are cheating on your partner in your dream. This stems from feelings of a lack of loyalty to you and your relationship on your partner's behalf. You're questioning that. You're questioning in your mind if the relationship is going to last. And this is due to them spending a lot of time with someone else or something else. And this is kind of a way to get a little revenge. The solution, sit down and talk to your partner. Let them know your feelings. Let them know, you know, I need this time and build that back in your relationship. I gave you the one that is usually the reason. Sometimes this particular dream, it could suggest feelings of self guilt or self betrayal or integrity. Sometimes the cheating may not be about your relationship, but rather a situation where you were being dishonest. Alternatively, your affair with someone else may just be about some quality in this person that you need to incorporate and acknowledge within your own self. So say you're cheating with your boss. That significance, you have the desire for control, authority, and power. And sometimes cheating dreams may also reflect the intensity of your sexual passion. You are exploring areas of your sexuality. In this scenario, the dream may actually serve as an affirmation of your commitment to your relationship. And sometimes people could have this dream the day before their wedding. It does not mean you're marrying the wrong one. It does not mean that you're going to go off and cheat. All that dream is telling you, it just represents the newness of your sexual passion. And the third kind of dream, you guys know who you are. This is for you. It's the dream where you can't seem to hit someone hard enough. You're fighting and you just, it's not hard enough or it's not fast enough. The meaning of this, the psychological meaning of this, is you lack self-confidence and self-esteem. And maybe if you're trying to make a move, you're not sure what, what your next move is. There is a possibility that this could be paralysis, REM paralysis, when you are actually dreaming. My suggestion as far as the self-esteem and the self-confidence that you feel you're lacking somewhere in your life could be one, could be multiple points in your life. I have a video or two on this, a few. Affirmations, gratitude, do gratitude. It just goes with affirmations and do your I am affirmations because the ones I know of you personally that have had this dream, you should have every confidence. So do your affirmations because you are enough. So if anything in this video helped you out today, maybe you've had one of those dreams and now you understand it, or you have a dream that you would like me to go over, leave it in the comments below. But first, hit the like, subscribe, ring that bell notification. So when I up to upload that video or any other video, you'll be notified. So you can be back here because I am committed to being here to help you ride the healing waves to your best life.